Police say the victim went to his ex's apartment to help her, but investigators say that was just a ploy. According to a report, Siobhan Perez wanted her ex to pay. Altamont Springs police say she poured lighter fluid on him, then set him on fire. News 6's Jerry Askin is live in Seminole County. And Jerry, you talked with neighbors, and they say the victim had recently moved out. Yes, and that was her breaking point, according to neighbors, Lisa. Now, right now, Altamont Springs police are investigating, but again, the victim's neighbors and his coworkers told me they saw warning signs long before. He was just screaming that she lit me on fire. She lit me on fire, and he ran out into the middle of the road. Nicole Fader lives next door and heard the commotion. Police say Siobhan Perez set her on and off boyfriend on fire at their Altamont Springs apartment Easter Sunday. He works at this nearby U-Haul. His co-workers gave News 6 this picture and told us he's Bradley Atkins. I went and saw him yesterday. Um, like I said, he was in good spirits. He's up. He's talking. But his co-workers say he also has severe burns over his face and upper body and may need surgery. Now they're all coming together trying to help. I'm sure he's doing okay. I'm going to try and get some kind of a fund together to help him out since he's going to be out of work. Police say Perez likely set up her boyfriend when she asked him to fix a pipe in their bathroom. And that's when investigators say she set him on fire using a torch and lighter fluid. Neighbors and co-workers told me they saw the warning signs, including regular verbal arguments. Met her a couple times and never really had a good impression of her. And this kind of just confirms everything that we all suspected. The screaming and the yelling, which was kind of like a you know, daily thing with them. And Perez, she's now sitting behind bars in Orange County. She'll soon face her charges here in Altamont Springs, charges of arson and attempted homicide. Now, we're finding out that she is a registered nursing assistant. And since her arrest, we're asking about her nursing license status. What I've learned coming up here all new at 6. For now, we're live in Altamont Springs. Jerry Askin, New 6. Jerry, thank you.